Right, we're going to fill out the uh, differential fluid first in this Honda Pilot. We're going to be using that fluid in this filler, which has an adaptable cap that will fit on a quart bottle. So we can basically pour it into the, uh, into the fill port. And we're going to use this gear oil for the transfer case. And in the tight quarters, we're going to use a syringe to put this in. We're going to need 3 8 inch square drive breaker bar, chances are, and a ratchet, as well as a drain pan. Okay, we're going to do the differential fluid on this 2012 Pilot. We have the car up on ramps, make sure it's level. And there you can see the two access holes for the plugs, the drain plug and the fill plug. That's the fill up there. And so the spare tire is in the way of those plugs, so we're going to have to drop it. So I'm going to take the extra time to show this in case you haven't done this before. I hadn't. So you have to snap that little cover off. And you're going to be using the um, part of the jack to do this. There's a bar right here that's going to fit over the little square opening on the uh, release for the tire. And they put a Honda's put a little rubber cover in there too, a little plug. So we'll pry that off. And you just put the jack extension in there and then use the handle that you would turn if you were jacking the car up to turn it. That's one way to do it. This takes a while. But there is a faster way to do this if you have a drill. This quarter inch socket adapter that fits in a drill also fits nicely into the inside of the extension bar. Perfectly, in fact. You'll get her down just a bit faster. That was fast. <clears throat> and just lift it up, turn that little holder hanger piece sideways, fit it through the opening, and get her out of there. Always oh, a good idea to do the fill first. If uh, by some chance you couldn't get that fill plug out, you had drained it already. Oh no, don't want that. This is the first time I've done this uh, since I bought this vehicle over two years ago. I'm expecting some protests from these plugs. I'm gonna go to the breaker bar. Okay, it's loose. We'll just leave that fill plug in there for safekeeping while we drain it. And there's rust in on the inside and outside of this drain plug, so I'm going to have to tap it. Tap my uh, quarter inch, three eighths inch extension in there with a hammer. We're going right to the breaker bar. little penetrant, little PB blaster. You put that on there and let that soak for a while. Okay. There, finally. Okay. Let's see what this stuff looks like. say it doesn't look that bad. It's not dark or anything. Apparently this has a little plug for sludge. Pick up particles. And now we can take the fill plug out the rest of the way. Hopefully not dropping it into our pan now full of the old, old fluid. Okay, it won't hurt to put a little never seize, just a thin coating on the uh, threads of the drain plug. So it won't fight us so much next time. Oh, 
Honda sold me a new washer. This thing was over three bucks. You don't really have to do that, but I did. That's 33 foot pounds. Now, I couldn't find any alternatives to buying Honda differential fluid for this application, so that's what I did. That's for the quart bottle. We've got the gallon. There's an on-off valve on here. Right now it's in the off position. Once I get it up there and get it in place, I'll turn it on. Okay, so we can set this up on top here. I've got the car up on uh, ramps, so I needed to put a five gallon pail and some uh, blocks up there to get it high enough to feed. Okay, we gotta get a little closer. And there it comes. And how do you know you filled it? When it comes running out of the fill port. The manual said three quarts and it was right on. And again, use a little never cease for next time. Thirty three foot pounds. To so change the oil in the transfer case. Up on ramps, enter from the front. Same style, 3 8 inch drive fill plug, and same drain plug. Get a 3 inch, will just fit in there. We'll just leave it plugged for now until we get the uh, drain plug. Okay, here we can get a breaker bar in here. Okay, I gotta move the camera a little bit. There it is. Now that doesn't look too bad. Likewise, 33 foot-pounds. I went to the Honda dealership prepared to buy the uh, Honda gear oil, and the uh, counter person told me they don't even use it, so just go to ADW90 from any auto parts store, GL4, GL5. So if you don't have a pump or want to pump it in, you're going to have to do something like this. I just happen to have a 2-ounce syringe here, so I'm going to be uh, repeatedly just filling with this. This fill port is in such a tight spot. I wanted to use gravity feed. There's no way I could get anything up in there. So, hence the syringe. That's it. 
Yeah, this is getting repetitious. 33 foot-pounds with your torque of torque on this fill plug. And uh, we've wrapped this all up. It took a couple hours, which wasn't too bad. And I uh, hey, appreciate your uh, taking a look at this. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. See what I'm coming up with next. Thank you.